5 o'clock, partly cloudy skies, 97 degrees. There are new developments this afternoon involving Tower Man. We're approaching the 102 hour mark. We got nothing to drink, no food, no nothing. Why would you just sit up there to, I don't know. We've employed almost every negotiation strategy that there is with this gentleman. Members of the Tulsa Police Department's special operations team are no strangers to standoffs. The longest one that anyone has found so far has been about five hours. So uh, this is a pretty unprecedented uh, standoff. Right now, negotiators are using every possible way to safely coach William Sturdivant off the tower. We did give him some water and a cell phone. We've uh, used a, a number of ways to communicate with him, playing tapes of his family, expressing how much they care and have concern for him and how they want him to be safe. He says they've consulted with other negotiation teams around the country as well. We've bounced things off of people. We've, uh, we've asked them if they have any other ideas uh, and they say that we're pretty much right on path. We've used pretty much all the strategies they can come up with uh, based on his profile. Perkins says he has some advice for other units dealing with this type of thing. I think certainly it's worth the other negotiations teams thinking about, uh, thinking about the, the way that this can stress your staff and your, and your patients. Probably the most difficult thing about this one is the sheer amount of time that it's been going on. So for now, the strategy is simple. He's in great danger as long as he's up in the tower. What we want to accomplish is maybe leveraging his thirst to get him to come down.